What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Collado cold press juicer. Looking at the specs, this has a 200 watt motor, a three inch extra large chute, which allows you to put uncut whole fruit into the juicer, is made from BPA free, high quality food grade materials, and includes two heat resistant leak proof glasses to store your juices. Taking a look inside the box, you have the juicer itself, the manual, the main chute portion, two cups, one for the juice and one for the pulp, two filters, the spiral for the chute portion, and then the spout for the pulp. This thing here to push in the vegetables or fruit inside the chute and two glass jars to store your juices. And I gotta say, these feel like very nice glasses and they also have nice brushed metal tops, which make them feel very premium. So taking a look at the juicer itself, I love the all black look this has. Most of my kitchen appliances are dark as well, so this is going to fit in perfectly. I know some people prefer white appliances, but personally, I think that looks dated and old and I'm just not a fan. Coming around the side here, you have the off button, reverse button, and two other buttons to choose what mode for the machine to operate in, depending what it is you're juicing, and if it's a soft item or hard item. All right, so as you can see, this machine can be separated in quite a few different pieces. You have the main unit here, and then you have the chute, which is made up of four different parts. This is not only to make everything easier to store, but also a lot easier to clean as well. So to assemble the chute, you have the main part here. Insert the spiral piece, put your filter in, and then you have your chute for the pulp, which just twists in and locks in like that. So now this is upside down, flip this over, and this would just click into here like that. And your fruit go up here, juice comes out here, and then your pulp over here. Right here at the side, there's a little black button. You just push that to release it, turn it. The whole thing pops out. Same thing, put it back in. Just put that back in there, turn it, and it'll click and lock in. So when this machine operates, it intentionally operates at a slow 68 to 115 RPM. This is done to ensure the machine never heats up in order to retain more enzymes, vitamins, and other nutrients from your fruit or vegetables. I have not used this juicer yet, but it's supposed to be very quiet as well. So in a little bit, we'll find out just how quiet it really is. There's a bunch of different recipes out there for different juices you can make. But for now, I'll be testing this with whatever I had in my fridge, which was pineapple, apples, and some celery. All right, so we'll get started with the pineapple first. As you can see, I already have it chopped up. So we're just gonna stuff these large chunks in there and see how it does. Got my glove on, cause I don't like getting the juices all over my hand. And I'm not exactly sure where pineapple falls on their scale between hard and soft. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the hard mode just to play it safe. It's actually a lot more quiet once it starts actually juicing the fruit. When the fruit wasn't in there, you'll hear the thing rotating and making kind of a clicking noise. But now that it has fruit going in there, it got a lot more quiet. Kind of looks like cheese whiz coming out on the pulp side. Makes me want some nachos, but unfortunately it's just pulp. It's been about two minutes and it's just about done with everything, but it's still pushing out some pulp and a little bit of juice. So I'll say it's somewhere around three minutes to juice an entire pineapple. Now that I hear it like this, it's a lot more quiet, just a little bit louder than a microwave. So it's unlikely it's going to disturb or wake anybody up. So I will have no problem using this early in the morning if I had to. So there you have it. One whole pineapple gives you a little over an entire bottle full of juice. All right, so let's go ahead and try it with the apples next. Same as before, we have large chunks so the juicer can do the rest. Even though it shows it on the promotional image, you definitely don't want to throw an entire apple with its core inside the juicer. They show that just to display the size of the chute, but it seems like a bad marketing idea to me as I'm sure somebody out there is actually going to try it and break their machine. 
I am going to mix these juices up anyways. So normally if you're going to separate these, you would want to rinse out your chute and then do the next one. But these are all going to get mixed up anyway. So for this time, I'm just going to continue and keep on using it as is. An apple is classified as a hard item. So hit the hard button there. Probably not going to get that much juice out of this since it is only two apples, but we'll see how it performs. Same as before, not much noise and it's doing a great job separating everything. And then up front we have all the pulp coming out with the same gummy worm looking string. This is going to be great at parties because after a few drinks, I'm sure there's going to be someone who will take the dare and actually eat all this mush here as is. So to fill up one of the bottles that came with this, realistically you're probably gonna need about six to eight apples i would say once you're done there'll still be some juice and shoot so just let it sit for a few seconds and you'll see it'll slowly just drip out and then once it's done dripping out there might still be a few drops so to avoid getting a mess there's actually a little lever here and that'll close it so it doesn't drip all over the machine or your counter all right so there you have it that's what we got out of two apples which according to this container is about five to six ounces all right, so let's go ahead and try the celery. Again, classified as a hard item. So we'll hit that hard button. A little noisier with the celery, but that's just because it has to crunch up the celery. So that's not completely the fault of the machine here. Definitely takes it in, no problem. Doesn't ever jam up or seize on me, which is great. Let's go ahead and try a few at the same time. No problem at all, just crunching away. That noise you hear is not the machine, but the celery rubbing against the side of the plastic here. And I totally forgot to open this. So now we're gonna have a bunch of juice flow out. I was wondering why it looked like a lot of juice in there, but forgot to open it back up. Looks like it's done, so same as before. Once it finishes, you just wanna turn it off and let the juice drip out. Usually it takes about 30 seconds to a minute. And then after that, you're pretty much done. As stated earlier, this whole entire shoot does come apart very easily in multiple pieces, so that's gonna be an easy breeze to clean up as well. Honestly, I have no issues or cons with this juicer, and it does everything they advertise it could do. So if you happen to be in the market for a solid and affordable juicer, I definitely recommend this one right here. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.